Hey there everybody and welcome. This is Tavo DRC of Crossbody Unity. We're trying to do some apostolic theology. That means in our opinion over here at Crossbody Unit, lowercase letter, like a servant leader like Paul, Apostle Paul wrote about himself in the Bible in every office, unless it started the capital, you know, at a, le a capital at the front of a sentence. So we're ch it's, it, this is a chief apostle mega ministry that has been online and on land, but it's been hiding out from fault, you know, just learning the curve. But it is sent to the body, and we have our numbers online, but not any offerings. You know, we're just, it doesn't matter about that. We, we need prayer protection, because we need more prayer and real people to get it out further and also to work on our funding, to have funding, you know. But God is good. So chief apostle means a doctrine originator in this ministry. Everybody's got their ministry definitions in the Christian. So this is a apostolic teaching ministry like Ephesians 2, 19 and 21. Paul said that the church, the churches are based, built by the revelation of the oracle offices. That's our paraphrase of apostles and prophets with Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. We also recommend that people nowadays go to Ephesians 4, cross unity, you know, Ephesians 4, about the transformed community that affects society. Not elite, not self-important, but chain of command, Ephesians 5.21, walking it out in meekness and lowliness and long-suffering, endeavoring to keep the bonds of peace together. That's the whole body, leaders and lay everyone working on themselves and being trained. The other thing is, read the effect of the transformed community. Less winds of doctrine, less immaturity, less con artists, many great things that catch the wind, you know, society's effect and attention. So we say that Ephesians 4 is a great hero training verse because it helps know who's a real Christian and who's not from the get-go. All right, if you read it, it says, One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God the Father of us all. Not legalistically, but listen, that if you don't believe that Jesus is the only way, you know, one Lord, Jesus, one church, Jesus Christ, church, the Christian ministry, you know, church. Whether you're in church or out, just so you're a believer, then he is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by him. It says in the Bible, he said. So you've got to know. Who are we, what are we teaching and what are we preaching? The point of this film right here, this little message, is to remind the Christians that all of us need to be working on our hearts and working on our theology and what we're listening to, what we're sitting under, what we're training. Is it really First Church Bible organic? When the organic move of eating correctly, you know, started in the last 20 years, then people were really conscientious, like they are now, of no added synthetic human additives. Well, this is what we need to work on now. Who and what, as a Christian leader and their theology and mine and yours about Jesus, is purely organic to the first church. That means not under the law not imbibing false doctrine, not setting itself above everybody else and not being too low or too, but to be a real relationship, hopeful church. Hebrews 10, excuse me, Hebrews 10, 25, a, a pleasant experience, not opposite. Not 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, 1 Timothy 6, 5, Pauline's command of last days, get out but being the real deal on and off as I had been down in the deep south with a lot of mega, a lot of country law, a lot of L, you know, showbiz it came to me because it wasn't the top people, it was the bottom people it's not the top people as much as the bottom people doing with what they want to do with it <laughs> they can get out of it and I thought of this phrase, I said because of wannabeism competition, all this stuff juvenile stuff Demas stuff, temporal stuff. And it said that, I, I wrote a Twitter comment or something, and it says, you don't have to be a star to be in Jesus' show. Just be yourself and let him shine through you. That's all we need to do now. Whether you are in a church, whether you're over a church, whether you're under a church, whether you don't go to church, you need to hear God now because it's that 
thick. It really is. So we are here as an option, as a resource, as a help people take inventory. You hear God. It's Sila, not dogma. But what this organic speaking is, I've been doing this a long time, due to TV. We are not against TV. We're not against the famous. We're not. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't heard somebody on TV and wanted to hear the anointing, the message that saved my life when I was brokenhearted or in stress or had my first child postpartum depression that was through media. God used these people in faith movements in different parts of the Christian community, Billy Graham on up. So we're pro them. We just need to know there's a difference now from when these started in the 70s and 80s because of the world, the flesh, the devil. People just take an oppor- you know, opportunist and human carnality and dysfunction and we want to be our, you know, we want to add to it and take away and be the king like them, be the autocrat, all these things. It is my submitted opinion that we want to wash this stuff and start again in your way and in my way, everybody's different ways that are community humility. And if you have a big bone to pick of theological difference, that's fine. Act in and resemble James 3.17 the wisdom that comes from on high relationship respect you don't have to endorse you don't have to condone you need to know the right theology for the first church and the future church which is humility community and working things out confronting and trying to preserve relationship it says preserving the bonds of peace endeavoring to keep the bonds of peace that's what i'm doing right now it's not well thought of but i'm doing it right now all right organic we're looking for organic Without human synthetic additives, nobody is ever going to not have them in these days. Me too. It's Jesus is the only one. But we can work on it and improve. All right. When we look at organic, I want to talk about the effect of TV. You know, in the teaching of the natural world, they've had all these con agribusinesses. They buy up all the croplands, all the farmlands. They add their synthetic additives to the wheat. makes everybody fat doing it for decades they add hormones to to the beef (coughs) excuse me so we have the same effect with television media ministry for the lifetime of most of us all right so with that being said we can say there is a carnal factor there is a great factor potentially there's an evil factor the prince of power the air all these things going on but then we have the deception factor And in 1996, in Virginia, I saw an ad in Charisma Magazine, which I do not read those magazines. But back then, I saw one lying at a meeting, and it said a prophecy from Bob Buis, whom I had read his book on favor, was really good and healthy, a little mini book that warned the body of Christ that a spirit of fantasy, really entertainment, was going to attack the church. And do you know what? That is exactly what I've lived through to find out the hard way. Dysfunction came in on that. And it is like Monsanto. Like it, good or bad or evil, no matter what you think, the media head with a lot of viewers is like buying up all the ideas, buying up all the thoughts of the viewers. It's affecting the grassroots where I walk and live. And it's created dysfunction because people are subjective they're selective in what they remember, they know, they've added to it what mama said. Their human flesh being carnal or carnal or redeemed or, you know, living holy and pure, knowing the Lord or just thinking they know it. Want their money, want their 5013 to look big like the famous so-and-so on TV. That's what we got and my term. If you look at TavoLeader.com, the magazine... It goes way back to 2012, the Eli Temple I preached a lot of things. This has been my TV-affected ministry field, and we're not against them, but the people out here, the crop that's produced is really trouble, a lot of it. Not all, but some, especially the ones that are sort of mesmerized by the famous prophet, pastor, teacher, not all are. It's it's really three parts, Demas, Eli, and Remnant. God bless you.